An Arab man has been sentenced to 18 months for rape by deception. Sabar Kashur tricked a woman into having sex with him by claiming to be Jewish. Well, he plans to appeal that decision. And as Artie's Paul Isley reports, even couples who choose to have interfaith relationships face hostility. This Jewish Jerusalem suburb is surrounded by Arab neighborhoods. And far from cultivating a culture of tolerance, Vigilante-style Jewish patrol groups, calling themselves Fire for Judaism, stand watch outside the local shopping mall. Their mission, to prevent Arab men mixing with local Jewish girls. The municipality has created a 24-hour hotline where parents and friends can phone to rat on Jewish girls breaking this taboo. A specially trained team of counselors and psychologists is on standby to rescue them. It's important to safeguard our traditions, culture, history and identity, because without this, who are we? From my experience, I can say that the chances for a healthy relationship between an Israeli Jewish woman and an Arab man are very, very low. It's because of the great differences between these two cultures. The most recent case involves an Arab man who posed as a Jewish bachelor. A Jewish woman agreed to have sex with him. But after she found out he was an Arab and not a Jew, she filed a police complaint. The court took the case so seriously that he's now being convicted of rape by deception and sentenced to 18 months in prison. The judge said he had an obligation to protect the public from sophisticated criminals who could lure innocent victims. But reactions to the verdict differ. I think the idea, if the woman wants to do it, it's no, it's no, they're no different. It's Arabic or no Arabic or something like this. Usually Jewish girls don't go with Arab guys, unless it's a choice, you know. So there should be a choice. He didn't leave her the choice, but uh, prison is too much, I think. This is the way that this conflict is ruining our personal lives, that we cannot have relationships, that we cannot be just human beings. Arabs make up a fifth of Israel's population, but relationships between Arabs and Jews are rare. Former Palestinian minister Ziad Abu Zayad says fights break out almost weekly in nightclubs and other public places over the issue. It's not religion, he says, it's racism. There are Jewish uh, gangs which are against any uh, relations between Jewish girls and non-Jewish men. And they keep hunting Jewish girls, even, even uh, th those who can go out to a pub or to a restaurant or uh, anywhere with an Arab guys and uh, threaten them and force them to break their relations with Arab guys. In the two years Rami Khrahib and Kelly Bentata have been together, they've never been physically threatened. He's Muslim, she's Jewish. But they're now thinking about leaving Israel because they say it's simply too difficult on other levels. When my family found out, they were uh, very adamant about cutting me off on every level uh, for, for acting as a traitor to everybody and for being in Israel and, ch and making that choice. Right now, Israeli parliamentarians are considering a law that will require prospective Israeli citizens to declare loyalty to Israel as a Jewish democratic state. Arab Israelis are furious. Most refuse to swear allegiance to a state they believe explicitly excludes and marginalizes them. Paul Islia, RT, Jaffa. I'm not so sure about it. Personally, I think that this case has been blown out of proportion entirely because the court emphasized the fact that Kashur presented himself to be single when he was married much more than the court emphasized the fact that he claimed to be Jewish. And the real question is whether a man should be uh, afraid now to lie even small white lies. We all are adult people, grown-up people, and we know that in any kind of relationship between men and women, there are big lies and small lies, white lies and black lies. He could uh, lie her about his age. He could tell her he loves her and he didn't love her. He could tell her that uh, he has a car and he doesn't have a car. This was not the issue. The real issue was that he is a Muslim who pretended to be a Jew, and this is the subtext of the whole thing. Don't touch our women. That's the subtext if the judges meant it and if they didn't mean it. But that's the meaning.